Get Real Support team till catching up with the boys from the Benigo Harness and Greyhound track. Firstly, Charlton Hindle, thank, uh, thanks for joining me. No worries. Thanks for having me, Paul. Um, you're over here in the, uh, in the Harness world enjoying tonight's festivities, but we've just had a, a, a very powerful speech from Duncan McPherson and uh, Sandra Kerno, um, which was very moving. And um, it's, a, it's, it's a shocking disease, this ovarian cancer, and well done to you guys for getting behind and raising some funds and awareness for it. Yeah, it's privileged to be a part of it. I think it's our fifth year now. Um, yeah, and we're more than happy to be a part of it. We'll do our part at promoting it. So, yeah, we'll do it every year. Um, Eric Hendricks, the general manager of Benio Harness Racing Club. It's been five years since the Greyhounds and the Harness have got involved, but Harness Racing's been involved with the Team Teal pretty much from its inception since Duncan decided to get behind these Lynn McPherson Memorial races. They've always been run here at Benio. Yeah, well, uh, I'm coming up on my fifth year here, so uh, I've only ever known it to, uh, to have run here. Right from the word go, but um, Duncan's obviously been doing it, you know, since 2010. So, um, you know, it's a massive effort, not only by him, um, the industry as well, you know, getting on board and, and doing what they do is fantastic. It is, and it's a big industry buy-in um, from everyone, from the TAB who donate money, HRV, the lady drivers. But then the participants, the people that come here, they'll buy a ribbon, they'll buy a bracelet. There's so much of a buy-in from participants, full stop. Yeah, well, us locally, um, you know, we put up race names, um, all that money's, you know, uh, goes straight to the charity. Um, you know, we've last two years we've done a team teal dinner in here as well. Um, everything we do, gold coin donations. Um, we're just trying to push as much through to the charity and support it. Um, you know, support Duncan, support the girls that are out there doing what they do. Sponsors of races. Um, you didn't have any troubles getting them, but you put a thing out on Facebook and they filled very quickly. Yeah, so the, uh, many of the sponsors from last year straight on board again, no questions asked. Um, you know, so hopefully we can just keep getting high race numbers and um, you know, gives us more opportunities to have a few, few new businesses next year. And the Benigo Greyhounds next door racing as well. It's a dual code meeting tonight and something very, very unique tonight, Charlton. Yeah, we actually got a um, 12 race card full of bitches, so, which is the first time that's ever happened in the Greyhound racing industry. So, um, yeah, it's a massive credit to all the participants for supporting this awesome cause. When they nominated, like they knew that it was for the ovarian cancer as well? Yeah, we put out a notice about probably two weeks beforehand. Um, and, yeah, the last week we promoted it again and, yeah, the nominations just kept coming. So... Um, yeah, there's still obviously more spots, but we got the full 12 race card, so next year, look out, I think it'll be full card. And that's where you want to go? You want to keep, continue to raise and raise awareness for ovarian cancer? Yeah, absolutely. The more awareness you make, the better the publicity it gets. So um, if someone's talking about it, and that's all we're doing our part in that way, so that's what we're trying to aim for. You guys have also got a fundraiser with uh, the, around the female trainers because, I mean, you can't have a jockey or a driver, so around the female trainers? Yeah, that's correct. So for every female trained winner during the month of February, um, the Bendigo Greyhound Race Association will donate $50 to every winner. So um, on Saturday we had five female trained winners, which is 250 bucks. One before that, 300 and about three tonight. So, yeah, we're sitting at about it's at 450 bucks, Which is exciting, and it's... At the end of the day, it's great that you are raising money um, and trying to help find a cure, but at the end of the day, you are raising awareness and most of the harness people know why they wear teal pants and the likes. There'd be a lot of greyhound people over there that would be learning for the first time what it's all about and that's, what, that's the main part of it, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, spot on. So just starting the conversation, provide the awareness. So as Duncan was saying in his speech, like the men know what they're looking for, the females know what they're looking for. So yeah, it's just all awareness, having the conversations and yeah, getting the word out there. Eric, next year we'll be back. Uh, 100%, yep, bigger and better. And keep supporting it and keep trying to grow it, keep trying to find a cure for it, but at the end of the day, raise money and raise awareness. Yeah, no, spot on. Um, those that still want to get in late, obviously we're still rattling the whole of this month and into March. There's a link on our Facebook pages. Um, so, you know, if you want to donate, get involved. Get real support, Teal. Eric Hendricks, thank you very much. Thank you, Polly. And Charlton Hindle, thank you. Thanks, Paul.